I am using an Arteza 8 by 8 inch watercolor sketchbook. So this is the supplies that I'm going to use for today. These are Core QOR watercolors and this is the little swatch that comes with it. I actually, it was blank, but I filled it in. These are the colors. So I just want to show you a real quick time lapse of filling in the swatch colors. This is the brush I'm going to use. You can use any watercolor brush, any kind of brush actually. I am I have a Pitt um, Faber-Castell waterproof pens. It, it has to say waterproof. It cannot say water resistant because it will blend into your watercolors or markers or whatever you apply. So it has to say waterproof on your on your pens. And I also use Microns, number eight. So these are the supplies that we're going to use today. And I also usually cut the bottom of a water bottle right here. And I that's what I use as my water cup. And I also have a washcloth with um, an old one that has watercolor paint on it, but that's to absorb the excess from my brush. So let's get started. And as you can see, this is the table on my steering wheel. I'm painting in my car and I'm gonna fill up the water and I think I'm ready to begin. I'm starting with the basic rectangular shape of the paint palette and every sketch is just comprised of shapes. And so we've got small squares and the double line around the rectangle for the black. And just adding the border around the palette. And it's another rectangle for the top of the palette. So just continue adding shapes and it doesn't matter if your lines are a little wonky, it's just a sketch, it's for a sketchbook. And we don't want perfection, we want it to look sketchy. And that gives it a little bit of character and a little bit of a whimsy, whimsical look. Just adding more shapes, basically made up of squares. It doesn't matter if you have the right amount of squares or not. Just add in as many as you feel like you can fit. And then when you color it in, if you have enough for all the colors, that's, that's good. And if you don't, that's good too. This is learning to sketch with just a pen and no pencil. So it will not be perfect and it is a learning experience using a pen without you first using a pencil but every sketch that you do will get better and better and here i am just lightly adding in the circle circles for the circular indentations that are in the lid of the palette and here is the pen and the lines again are a little bit wonky here so you can go over the lines a second time and kind of straightens it out a little bit but after the shadows are added and all of the color is added it will turn out to be an acceptable sketch of a pen just adding the lettering that's on the pen and i felt like the sketch needed a border around the edge so i'm just drawing lines and the best way to have semi straight lines is to pull your pen toward yourself here I am starting to add the watercolor paint and I mostly first wet the paper, put a coat of water on it first, and then add a little bit of the paint. I'm adding gray to the edge where it's going to be black, but this is just the first layer. Uh, watercolor is mostly painted and used by adding layers. Watercolor really comes to life with every layer that you add. And this is just a light layer of gray. Adding a little bit more shading around the circular part to make it look like it is concave. And now to the fun part of adding all the colors of the palette. So uh, the first two I just painted dry. I put the paint on the paper with it being dry. With the rest of the colors, I dampened the paper first and then added a dot of paint and watch it spread across the square. It's so fun just to watch it blend out. And then with each layer, 
you can darken the color a little bit more. And then along the bottom of the uh, paint color square, I shaded the bottom part so that you can see that it's lifted up a little bit. And here is just a time lapse of the rest of the paint being added. And uh, it's just dampened the paper and let the paint spread, especially where you just need a little bit of a washy color. And here's the pen um, added the shadow. And now I'm adding the lettering for the core paints, Q-O-R, and some shading underneath the pen. So I added the date and the time and what I was thinking about being creative and relaxing with that creativity. So I added that and then core, I filled in the bottom corner because I felt like it needed something there. So I added the name of the paint palette. So I just finished this, or I thought I was finished until I took a look at it. And I'm thinking that it needs another coat of paint. So here we go. We're gonna apply another coat of paint and darken it up a little bit. And I just soften the edges where I'd like it to stay lighter. So this is a time lapse of a second layer that I applied over the whole picture. So now with the second layer, I'm very happy with it. I think the picture pops and this is the final product. So if you've made it this far in the video, I thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video.